everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Right now, we are looking at a former Illyra fan who's speaking up about the Doki situation. It takes some of them some time. I do not want to uh, disparage anybody who takes a little bit of time uh, to wait and see how everything uh, works out. And uh, let's just see what they have to say. I'm a massive fan of VTubers. So I have many Oshis that I love and respect. Whenever there's a new VTuber I like, I don't replace my already existing Oshis. They just that's become a like part me. of my Oshi collection. That's kind of like Normally, yeah. I would never abandon an Oshi. But one VTuber managed to prove me wrong. And that's Alira Pandora. During the pandemic, I was still discovering VTubers. And one of them was Alira. Kind of like me. Her anime girls. Except she has for, a cute, nerdy I, I didn't voice, go for Alira. And I like her witty sense of humor. She's been my Oshi for many years until I saw this shit. For context, her ex coworker, Doki Bird, formerly known oh, as Selene, was going through a lot of stress during her time at DG Sanji, having to pay for her own projects, having projects rejected by management, and being bullied by her coworkers. Yeah. It got to the point where she tried to take her own life twice. Luckily, she failed both attempts and went back to being an indie VTuber. After everything she's been through, everyone was happy to see her make a comeback. A few days later, Doki Bird decides to stream Neopets. At the same time, her ex coworkers decide to stream this bullshit. Yeah. While Doki's stream is still alive. Yeah. That being Vox, Ike, and Alira. So in the video, Alira exposed herself as one of the bullies. They lied about Selene not having permission from management to post this music video and told us that Selene failed them as a friend. I don't know what kind of drugs Niji Sanji was overdosing on, but anyone who's seen the video can tell you how god awful this video is. It comes off as them kicking Doki Bird down just when she was getting back up. So when I saw that Alira was throwing Doki Bird under the bus, I lost every ounce of respect I had for her. I'm disappointed that someone I looked up to not only bullied Doki Bird to the point of suicide, but she even went the extra mile to team up with these fuck faces to dogpile on her even further. <laughs> this guy really I don't know what they're like trying to achieve by doing Holy this. Crap, if this anything, guy really doesn't this like only him. makes them look worse in the long run. This video proves that they sold their soul to the devil. So if any of these three decide to go indie, they're done. They're not going to be welcomed by the VTuber community outside of Niji Sanji, and they won't have staff management yeah. to take the bullets for them if they ever get into any trouble. Realistically, their only options are to either stay in Niji Sanji or change careers that don't involve content creation. There's nothing I find more lame than people who take their jobs way too seriously to the Okay, and the, the, I'm not going to go over everything, but yeah, the guy's right. Um, a lot of people are kinder, like I'm a little bit kinder, but yeah, I don't think that uh, they will have much of any kind of community to go for, except for the people who uh, will support them, who maybe won't be like Needy Sisters. But as you can recall, every single former Needy Sanji member, once they leave, the big diehard Needy Sanji fans forget about them. They don't support them. It doesn't seem like they support them. Uh, the Needy Sanji supporters don't support them. Uh, as much as they say they love the livers, they don't follow them into their, their next lives. They just, they love the livers as long as they are a part of Needy Sanji. Once they leave Needy Sanji, that becomes a problem. Keep on realizing Needy Sanji took down the last cup of coffee cover because of perm issues that shouldn't exist due to incompetence, only to also realize that they never bothered to take down the black stream, even though there's an NDA that they technically broke. I initially thought Elira only volunteered because she was forced upon hearing Vox and Ike following up on her uh, with her. I quickly knew they were not forced. Nevertheless, Elira, Vox, and Ike effed up, and Nidhi Sanji, any color, will pay the price for not taking accountability. They got away with Zion, but Selene was Ian's last straw. With that in mind, I won't be surprised if any color uh, will debut zero view Nidhi Sanji Liver. With the fact that they are debuting so many people in so many ways, and um, it's not working like the Noth, it, they deserve more. TTT deserves more, but they aren't getting anything because they aren't getting the support that they, that they need from a marketing company, from a company that should be marketing them. They become a merch company now instead of a VTuber organization. They're a merch company that happens to have VTubers. At least that's what it seems like nowadays. Just a reminder that even if those three are responsible for throwing Doki out of the bus, the true planner of this mess is any color themselves. Management higher ups just using those three to shield their faces from their fans' hatred because they don't want to be the ones that are responsible. And that's one thing that I do believe. That's one thing that I've always believed since the beginning. Yes, you are an adult, Illyra, Vox, and Ike. All three of you are adults, and all three of you could have decided, you know what, I'll take the suspension and I won't do this. But you all three decided, heck, this is for the better for me. Let's go and do this. Let's follow this. Or I have an axe to grind with Selene already. This gives me an actual outlet for that axe to grind. Any one of those things could be true. 
We won't know because no one's ever going to speak about it, but that's those are my little rats in there. Here's a bit of a PSA for those who doubted the livers being gaslit or manipulated. Remember how easily we were. It took only one post to begin tricking many in here, including me, into believing that Ryoma was another creator riddled in controversy. Now imagine how easy it is for legal team with resources, power, and ability to shape the narrative and lie to their employees to the point they may feel pressured or eager in Vox's case to make statement condemning a former colleague. Yes, they can easily be gaslit. Of course, you are an adult. You get to make those decisions. Corrections have been made on my end when I have made mistakes and I have been gaslit myself. Um, but an agency like this, it, especially a black agency like they are, a very bunch of red flags waving in, in, the, in the wind, they work and they live off of uh, making the people under them feel that they have to do certain things. As a post sharing discussing fake tweet by Roma pre-debut, uh, post containing allegations of nighttime audios, accusing Roma of being the same person, things that happened, and nighttime audios pretty much disprove that or try to disprove that with uh, them streaming at the same time as, as Roma, whether they are or aren't the same person. Here's the issue that I've always had. Do not go and, uh, you know, send hate to anybody. Do not go send hate or harassment to Roma or harassment to Nighttime Audio. Uh, judge them for who they are. Judge them for what they've done. Judge Roma for what Roma has done. If Roma and Nighttime Audios are the same person, do not judge Roma for what Nighttime Audio has done. They are a different personality. They um, want to make a new start. You can say one thing or the other about the new start, but um, just don't go harass people. If you don't like them, if you believe that they're Nighttime Audios, etc., just don't watch them. Move on. It took around days or a week for the stuff to figure out it was fake. I consider it's already July. It seems like it's going to take more than half a year for the black stream members to realize it was a mistake. Suppose our previous conversation that prompted you to make this post. But the funny thing is, I never really brought the Roma to allegations. I'm pretty sure I even said on one of the related posts to wait and see, at least until debut, to confirm if it's him or not. Turns out, didn't even take that long for the guy to debunk it himself and even stream at the same time as Roma. Debut to put the final nail in the rat. And good on him, honestly. He may have done S things, but he really went out of his way to avoid Roma, a complete stranger to him. Of course, like I said, judge Nighttime Audios for the horrible things he's done. Because he's done some horrible things, so judge him on that. On treating people like S, treating people horribly, treat him uh, based on that, on Nighttime Audios. Roma, we have no proof that he's done it one way or the other. Uh, no, no definitive proof, so do not harass them. Do not harass either of them, like I've said before. But um, judge Night Tamarios and don't watch him based on what he's done in the past. Having a bit of a conversation as I like to have a conversation with you guys and of course let me know in the comments what you believe and what you think about this specific topic. One of the reasons black companies can go rogue overseas is a strong base of support in Japan. Black companies are repeating the same mistakes abroad and refusing to change the same arrogant attitude in the slightest but they have a strong support base so they don't really care is what this person saying. Um, Following Hololive, they do not essentially care what happens overseas. Hololive is one of the few who actually cares about what happens overseas. I learned the reality of Nidhi Sanji's support in Japan, which made me realize this. While other major agencies such as Hololive, Vispo, Aogiri, and Neoporte have large following among the general public and gamers, they seem to have a large following among annoying women such as Johnny fans, the rise of a bakemono in Japanese, who do not compete with these agencies because Niji supporters are fundamentally different from those other agencies, their base is not easily crumbled, and black companies profiting from them. The reason why many Niji Sanji female uh, supporters are not popular is because they have little support from the general public and men. There was a moment that made me realize this at a glance. HMV stores in Japan mainly sell Johnny's and K-pop, which Japanese women like. As mentioned above, Niji's merchandise section is more than four times larger than Hololive's and occupies the best space in the store. Hololive has only recently started selling goods at HMV, so there's no other agency goods to be seen at all. So yeah, it's it's it makes sense when you think about it. The reason why an agency like Niji Sanji does nothing to um, to support any of their EN fans, anyone in EN, anyone in another agency, and not, not another agency, another uh, group under their umbrella. Well, I guess you could see you could say Niji Sanji EN is its own agency at, at a certain point. Uh, it's a branch of the same agency. Uh, the reason why they don't support those branches is because, well, I mean, as long as they have the Japanese support. If they lost the Japanese support, I'm pretty sure they would go even harder. Don't think the sentiment would be overseas dependent or if it's in Japan. What I see mostly is things happen in the entertainment industry, streamers, YouTubers, games, companies, uh, mostly people who rely on fans. They get too complacent with their standing. They start to lower their standards to save money and time. And if a section doesn't make money, they just cut it off immediately instead of remedying it. 
Instead of uh, nursing it back to health, Nidhi Sanji and other agencies just drop them like, you know, <laughs> like a bad date. They're just like, bah, there I'm done. I'm done. And that's not good. Looks like stage four blank. Uh, a bit confusing, but I just want to clarify that people rely rarely buy merch in HMV in Japan. So that's a, a rare thing, apparently. But still, it is kind of indicative of the way uh, these companies are going to continue working in the future. Here's a little bit of a meme with Hex and shoes stealing SpongeBob style. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. Of course, it is, you know, the SpongeBob and uh, Hex Haywire and then shoe. Oh, with the really tall, really tall in order to be able to get into somewhere. Um, SpongeBob thing. These hex looks more proportional. Shu is just an Enderman with Yaoi hands. Yeah, that was that was interesting. The whole hex haywire. Uh, I mean, the shoe thing, the shoe Yamino. Um, it is uh kind of scary the way they do their things. It's just it, it is, it's scary the way they did it. This is someone that I know kind of just on the VTuber end, you know, kind of just on uh, a more surface level. But I do want to put this out there, you know, send the love to Miyu Nijiro because they recently lost a parent. That is an extremely, extremely tough thing that I cannot imagine how that could feel. And um, I don't want to bring anyone down, but, you know, send them lots of love. They've gotten lots of love. This is Miyu, Sloth VTuber. As you can see, we follow each other. Uh, it says, a sleepy Sloth VTuber that wants to become an idol. And right here it says, I hope my mom is in a better place. I hope she's no longer in pain. I hope she can eat all the baked potatoes and barbecue she wants. I hope heaven exists and that, that she is there. Going to get rest. Hug your loved ones for me. My mom is resting and her fight with Lupus is now over. Good night. And Sayu herself went in there and says, I'm so sorry to see you in such pain, Miyu. Your feelings are 100% valid. Your sadness and shock are so valid. And I hope your mom will be in a more wonderful place now. You sound very strong and you got this. Much love. She is, uh, Miyu is a uh, Synchronite, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, even the Synchronites came out and says, I wish I could say something to help, but I cannot offer empathy. Uh, I, cannot, uh, I cannot offer anything but empathy because I don't know this pain and sympathy won't help. All I can say is I'm sorry for your loss. Stay strong. So the Synchronites are rallying around her. Uh, I forgot to say this earlier. My birthday celebration is postponed until further notice. Of course, absolutely. My, I'll try to schedule things when things are less stressful. I'm sorry. No need to apologize on that end, of course. Hoping I'll wake up and she would be here, but she's really gone. I'm never going to feel her hug again. She's never going to be telling me jokes and feeding me ducks. Feeding the ducks. I'm never going to hear her say, I love you again. I feel like I'm alone and all I can do is cry. I can understand that. I think my next stream will be a stream for my mother. Uh, of course, take time to grief, to grieve because going right away can help. Sometimes distracting yourself can help. Absolutely. But give yourself time to grieve, of course, is a good thing. But of course, no one can tell her what to do other than herself. She's the one who decides whether she uh, takes time off or she continues. I never thought so many people would see that tweet. I never thought so many people would send me their love. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, I'm not really going to lie. I really need it now. Every message, every kind word you have helps. I feel so alone right now. But somehow it feels like I can feel her holding me tight. Even though she's gone, she's still with me. And always will be, honestly. I want to get a tattoo to remember her by. So that's a, that's a good idea. That's a good remembrance tattoo. I just can't think of what I want to do. There are so many people I have to call. I have so many doctors and government offices to call. I have to figure out my health insurance. To figure out how I'm going to pay rent in the house. God, I'm so upset. Uh, there's exactly one thing you need to do right now, and that is grieving. Cry all you want and all you need. Of course, that's what she needs to do is just take time for herself. It is a time where there are there's just so much chaos going on in the brain when a loved one dies. I cannot imagine how it is when a direct parent dies. I've had, you know, grandparents and things like that pass away, and that is painful in and of itself. I cannot imagine how it feels to have a parent die. If you would like help, there are some ways you can help. Be uh, there for me men men emotionally or paying games. Give advice about what to do in this kind of situation. Uh, financial assistance with burial and other expenses. I know there's a state aid that might help. If you would like to send money directly, you can use my uh, tip on my Twitch chat. We'll give you a link to go to. I'll post some links under this tweet too. I'm planning on calling a bunch of people tomorrow and tell them the news. I have to figure out and make decisions on the house and everything. My family is helping, but frankly, it's sudden as death usually is, and I don't know where to start. So any advice is very appreciated. For financial help, this is their, their uh, stream elements uh, slash me you use tip. So if you want to financially help them, of course, go ahead there. That is a place that you can do that. And I do hope that they can recover. I do hope that they take the time that they needed to grieve. And of course, my deepest, deepest condolences go to the family. This is a bad take 
that I want to cover because this is definitely a bad take. You should not go uh, on supporting people based on CCV unless you are one of those people that, of course, only wants to support smaller VTubers. That is your right as well. But this specific gripe is not a gripe that I can agree with. It says, I don't support bigger VTubers uh, 500 plus average because they won't acknowledge your butt and get to that point until you get to that point. Let's be real, 99.99% of streamers, not just VTubers, never see that goal. I know I am big by any means, but I mess with everyone, regardless of viewership or follower count. But why though? Because you guys are the ones who gave me the support to get me to the level. And and for that, I'm forever grateful. I often love you all. Never forget that. I will use this as a positive thing myself and mention that is why I do the VTuber showcase. That is why every single video, even though it takes time, effort to find VTubers a lot of times, um, I go through that special time and that effort, that extra time and effort, because I want to be the positivity in the VTuber community. I don't want to have this thing be seen as a competition. I don't want uh, people, I don't want the people who create Google Docs to bring someone else down because of their own personal disliking of the person. I don't want people who create Google Docs to bring down competition to be the norm in this uh, organization, this community. I want it to be a positive thing. I want the community to help each other, to aid each other instead of trying to bring each other down. And the, things like this are not welcome in the community, at least the, uh, the community I want to create, because that just brings controversy, that brings competition, that brings hate. He has been botting for the past few months as well. A hypocrite, honesty. Might want to be careful, guys. Uh, what a strange take. So over 500 CCV streamer. VTuber won't notice him anymore. Is that what he's complaining about? I feel like they're trying to say support or keep supporting low view folks, which is fine. What I don't like is that it seems like they're insulting those that have higher view count. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm reading this. That's the way I read it too. The first two statements were unnecessary if they really wanted to bring in more people to support, support smaller creators. It could be me, but I feel like they only follow smaller streamers just so they can control them. And anyone with 500 plus two CCV is too big to control. That is an idea. That is a possibility. In other words, he's saying only support VTubers who actually acknowledge you on Steam. Um, the entitlement is real with this one. This ain't it. Of course, a lot of people don't agree. Just like me, I don't agree. I watched a few VTubers grow from 3 to 4 to 100 plus CCV over the years. I'm not extremely entirely uh, related. Though I'm not entirely related to their growth per se. I am happy to see them grow into what they are right now. They don't reply to your comments. No, that's fine for me since I get to watch their journey and it's more than enough. I'm nobody having what fun watching someone become a somebody. I have friends in the VTuber community. I have people that I have mentored in the VTuber community when they started out in the sense of, look, I'm not a big streamer. I'm not a big person, but I mentored them in the sense of do not make the same mistakes I made. That's what that's what I mean by mentoring, telling them, hey, these are the mistakes I made. Do not make these same mistakes. Uh, these are the tools that I use. Use these tools to better yourself. Use these tools to make a better stream. And heck, a lot of them, in fact, most of them are way bigger than I am right now. They are in the 50 to 100 CCV. They are about 10 times my size in followers. Some of them have even gone to 200 to 300 CCV, and I'm extremely happy for them. I am not uh, en like in, in jealous in the sense of like, ah, I'm going to drop them down. I'm very happy. Of course, you know, you wish that you had your channel that way too, but there's a reason why they got that big. They found an audience. They found some someone that was entertaining and their, their viewers love them. I'm not ever going to, to mock uh, a 500 plus CCV unless they specifically do something against me or, you know, uh, reject me in a harsh way. That is when the, the fangs come out. But other than that, I'm good. Welcome today to another VTuber showcase where we have Cecily Policinel. I hope I said it right. Policinel. Policinel. Yeah, I think I said it right. Uh, it's a she, her VTuber. Not a full time, but they, you know, they are doing it as a hobby, doing it as, see, hoping that they can grow. They do not do any kind of lewd content, um, but they do have, of course, as you can see here, they are growing. Uh, they are, you know, just started their a journey on February 2023. And they are, you know, helping out others. They're, they're kind of pushing, you know, other creators out as well, just like I'm trying to do. Here is their ENV Tuber uh, YouTube channel. I'm gonna take a look at their shorts because that's what they have right now. I'm gonna give you a get physics. April says, yeah. Uh oh, guys. Uh oh, guys. You you heard that? April says I might get jiggle physics. Oh God. <laughs> Eyes up here, there you guys. Go. Eyes up here, chat. <laughs> sorry, it's cute. sorry. It's very I'll cute. I'll put them away. I'll put I'll put the girls away. Sorry. It's cute. It's very cute. I like the humor that they have. I like uh, that they can, uh, 
make you know have fun moments like that with chat uh they are a puppet girl with a bit too much tv time brought to life through a shooting star love playing nintendo games as well as funny charming indie games they're a firm believer in fart jokes always being hilarious they're cringe but they are free i do gaming art and chatting we've also been doing viewer requested scp reading on stream Ooh, that is unique i haven't seen very many people do scp readings that is a unique one they stream on monday tuesdays minecraft thursdays and saturdays so they take breaks on Wednesdays and Sunday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. I love the community that they've brought together, and I love being able to. They love being able to be themselves with a bunch of like-minded people, kind of the same way I believe. They're willing to collab with other creators. They'll be playing Get Over It with when you reach 700 subscribers. So let's get her to that point. It's getting close. Uh, would love to stream full time and have my own merch line. Me and Silly Geese are working towards membership on the channel. I love all the people I've met through collabs this year because you've been collabing as well. Uh, if they want the best food tubing experience, I'd say get yourself out there and get to know others in the community. It is a lot of fun. And that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to let them be known by the community. Let them be known by other people. Uh, you can always have tons of different um, Oshis out there. And thank you so much, Ce Cecily, for being a part of this whole uh, VTuber showcase. And thank you for taking the time to fill out the form and be a part of it. Thank you all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.